friends, Allison here, dropping in to share with you some new creative inspiration for Scrapbook Nerd and for International Scrapbooking Day or Weekend. Happy National Scrapbooking Day, friends! Hopefully you get some time to scrapbook this weekend and participate in the challenges. Um, scrapbook Nerd is offering or hosting a bunch of challenges this weekend and I invite you to check them out. And I actually have a challenge to share with you today as well. The layout that I am creating is spring themed and my challenge is to use flowers in your layout. They can be any kind of flowers, it can be paper, it can be die cuts, it can be stickers, whatever you'd like, as long as you use flowers. I die cut my flowers, I used my Cricut to create them, and I stuck with a uh, blue, pink, mint, uh, teal sort of color scheme, and then there are some pops of like a goldenrod yellow in the layout as well, especially in the background. I cut strips of paper that are six inches long by one inch wide. Yes, one inch wide. And glued them all together to make a random pattern going down the page and uh, stitched them all as well with coordinating embroidery floss. It was a lot of work, but I really like the way that it looks. This layout is actually a scrap lift of, as well of a layout that I had seen on Instagram. Um, it was by Claudia Carolyn or Caroline at Creative CCR. I will include the link to her Instagram in the description box down below so you can go check her out. But I really felt inspired by her layout and the strips of paper that she included in hers. And I just adapted mine so that it had stitching just on the strips of paper. Hers actually, I think, were underneath her strips of paper. And then, of course, I included the florals just to fit the challenge that I'm hosting with Scrapbook Nerd. I really wanted to stretch the stitching off of the strips that they were on onto the layout base. But I find when I'm stitching on really large pieces of paper, it's a nuisance. <laughs> I don't like doing it so much, so I just kept it to the strips of paper um, that I cut to six by one. So I am scrapbooking the pandemic. Um, I'm just, I'm a chronological scrapbooker. If you're new to my channel, that is the way that I scrapbook. Um, and I'm just getting into March of 2020, last year, and that is when, at least here in Canada, everything started shutting down. Um, and that is, this is my first pandemic layout. I felt kind of funny putting flowers all over such a happy looking layout when the theme was anything but happy. <laughs> But, you know, you roll with the punches and you do what you have to. I'm just adding the date to the right-hand side of the photo as well. The photo is trimmed to 3 by 4 inches. I printed it with my own home printer. I use an Epson printer and I stapled the date to the side of it after I stamped the date on it. The last thing that I'm going to do is add my journaling, which is written on scrap cardstock and then trimmed into thin little strips and I'm just going to glue them to the layout base now. They're going to kind of cover the two flowers that are at the bottom of the layout but I'm okay with that because most of the flowers still peek out and it doesn't hide them too terribly much. And that is the end of my creative process today. This layout is complete. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you do consider participating in International Scrapbooking Day challenges, whether it's with Scrapbook Nerd or your other, another favorite group that you are a part of on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. 
I will include the link to Scrapbook Nerd in the description box down below so you can definitely check them out on Facebook and feel free to check out the shop as well. There's all kinds of new product coming into the shop right now as I speak and all of your favorite manufacturers like Pink Fresh Studio, Echo Park and Coco Vanilla, everybody will be there. Make sure you check it out. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be back again soon. Bye friends.